Hello everyone, my name is Sandeep Kotnala. Welcome to the tutorial session by Institute of Bakery and Culinary Arts. So today we are going to make spinach and egg soup. Spinach, it's a super food. It is loaded with tons of nutrients in a low calorie package. Spinach are important for hair, health and skin and they are full of mineral, vitamins and protein. So let's begin. For soup, we need chopped onion, 3 to 4 pieces of peeled garlic, 40 ml of olive oil, potato one medium size, salt to taste and spinach 400 gram. While making spinach soup, do not use these type of spinach leaves, always use fresh leaves. Now on a pan, add olive oil, once oil is hot, add chopped onion and garlic. Garlic goes well with the spinach, it increases the flavor of our spinach. Saute onion on medium heat till onion becomes translucent. If you want, you can add knob of butter to increase the flavor of a soup while you are sauteing your onion. Onions are translucent. It's time to add potatoes. Potato have a good amount of starch in it and it will give body to our soup. In case, if you do not want to use potato, you can make a roux. Roux is equal quantity of flour and butter. Roux will help you to thicken the soup. Add salt to taste and we are going to saute potatoes on medium flame for 4 to 5 minutes. Now it's time to add 400 ml of water. Do not add spinach till potatoes are cooked. Potatoes will take at least 10 to 15 minutes. As you can see potatoes are cooked. Time to add spinach. Before adding the spinach, make sure the spinach is thoroughly clean. It is washed in running water twice or thrice. Saute spinach on high heat for at least 5 minutes. As spinach is wet, add water and cook spinach for 5 minutes more. Tip of the day, do not overcook the spinach. Do not blend the spinach when it's hot, otherwise color will go away. Once spinach is cooked, immediately cool it down, either on ice bath or in a blast chiller. This process will help to retain its color. Spinach is cooled, time to blend. As you can see, the color of a soup is a green, time to add seasoning. Salt according to the taste and 2 spoon of fresh cream. Be careful while adding fresh cream. Too much of cream will change the color of a soup. If I'll talk about the consistency, this should be the consistency of a soup. Soup is ready. Time to make a pochek. To make a perfect pochek, we need egg, vinegar and water with a temperature of 95 degrees Celsius. Add the vinegar on a water. Give a swirl to water and then add egg. Once you have added the egg, do not allow water to boil. In 2-3 to three minutes, pochek will be ready. And by this way, you can check your pochek. Now it's time to plate. Always taste your soup before you serve the soup. Let's garnish the soup with a swirl of fresh cream. 